right, right over there. Possibly just looking around, seeing if we, if there's anything that it might be able to nibble on. It's a nice surprise. We're just moving through the area. Why don't we follow this hyena a little bit? Hold on a second. Oh, this hyena, it's amazing how they're constantly in search of food, um, possibly trying to scavenge from some animals. See that? Now the typical hyena run often they, if they um, just to get around quite quickly they run a lot the hyena surprisingly surprisingly they do oh, there we go this one's standing now good morning uh, most likely you can still pick up on the scent of lions so just very alert cautious it's scanning the area the other thing is the hyena will be relying a lot on its sense of hearing and sense of smell Sorry, so I'm going to try to roll forward for you a little bit, just to get that branch out the way. There we go. It's actually a nice view of that hyena. So we didn't have any luck at the den, but fortunate, fortunately, we still got to see a hyena. Mary Kay, you say you really like hyenas. They are interesting creatures, very, very interesting. I definitely have a lot of respect for hyena <clears throat> because I've seen how powerful they are and the damage they can do, and especially when they're fighting, it can get very aggressive. I haven't heard those lions again at all. I was hoping they would call again for us this morning, especially with it being a much cooler morning. Maybe they'd still be a bit active, but I haven't heard anything. Eduardo, you asked if not, if um, hyenas can be domesticated. Well, Eduardo, probably not. They shouldn't. But, but, in parts of Africa, Central Africa, Nigeria, and that, I think, I think in the Congo, um, there are people known. I think they're known as the hyena men. Um, and um, I mean, it's. It's, it's not right at all, but there are people that keep hyenas as pets, but they use them as um, as scare tactics, uh, debt collectors, or whatever. They'll walk around with their hyenas and and intimidate people, um, and they do train them a little bit. But I don't know to what extent exactly. But yeah, they keep hyena, but that's. Uh, that's completely wrong.
Antoinette, you asked if we are able to identify hyena from the spots, like with leopards. Um, look, I think each pattern is unique on, on these animals too. Um, and I know, I know there are viewers that follow the hyena clans very, very closely, and they are able to identify them a lot better than we could. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to to identify them because there's so many hyena, and um, I suppose I, I just haven't looked closely enough to see. But, um, but, uh, yeah, look, I think if you really wanted to, you could. Let me just move forward again. There we go. This hyena's still just sniffing around, constantly scanning. It would be nice if it took us to a leopard kill, maybe. A leopard kill hoisted in a tree in the hyena. Uh, Chitty Chatty Meg, you asked if a hyena could be uh, compared to a coyote. Um, you can compare the two, but they'll be completely different, Meg, to be honest. Uh, a hyena, much larger, completely different scavenger compared to a coyote. Um, coyote is part of the canine family. Hyenas are not. Um... I've never seen a coyote, seen many hyena, <laughs> what else? Um, no, but they're completely different, mate, completely different.